Hey, what up? Tom Cat here on Not TV. Another episode of Not TV on Pixelated Something Contraption or the other. And I have the honor today of interviewing Stalker Kitty. What's up? Meow. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, Frank. Um, so, tell us about your music. Um, well, I basically do two different things. I do a singer-songwriter thing, and I also play with players with a band sometimes. It started out as two separate things, but I've kind of been, like, working the songs together and, like, rewriting stuff into, like, a cohesive piece, like, EP album. And um, so I'm... I, I do have players that I can play with, but I'm kind of just, like, focusing on writing. Well, I'm pretty much done writing, but focusing on getting out this EP. I'm just demoing right now. Um, and Stalker Kitty, uh, the name originated because I was producing, like, a War of the Worlds. It, we wanted it to be a War of the Worlds type um you know, we just wanted people to think that giant extraterrestrial cats were invading Earth. Like, on you know, we were trying to trick people into that by putting it on Snapchat and stuff. But naturally, uh, <laughs> naturally, it's happened before. <laughs> but um, we had a stalker, and it was stalkerkittyknows at gmail dot com, and kept emailing all of us, and so. That's what I named my band because I started a band at that time. And then I just kind of kept the name because people just kind of remembered it and liked it. So, One of the most interesting dreams you recall? Um, I used to have a repeated dream about my dad turning into a werewolf and trying to kill me. I had this dream from like when I was really young to when I, until I was like 16 and then they stopped. <laughs> That's pretty cool and terrifying. Any uh is your dad a werewolf? Not to my knowledge. Are you sure? Well, I mean, I can't be sure about anything, but you had any uh interesting experiences with the paranormal or unexplained? Um I uh, I I guess I I've dreamt, like, I've had some kind of, like, dreams into the future sometimes, like, um, like, I would get, like, a, like, a jolt or an instinct, because I dream at first that something would happen the next day, and it did. This next song we're going to play is called Eraserhead. It's getting hot in here. I'll leave it Erase your head. Thank you. 
chant now, but I also used to meditate and I used to do the Course in Miracles and I, um, I was in Boston and I was doing it and I was saying this mantra in my head and I was like on a jog in the morning and then I was like passing by the cemetery and I felt like I should go in. So I did and I started jogging through this cemetery and I was just like praying and I was like, why I feel like I'm supposed to be in this cemetery, like trying to be open. And then all of a sudden I looked up and there was like an entire family full of Blanchards, like headstones were Blanchards. <laughs> so I was like, what the fuck? And so I just like sat there and kind of like prayed a little bit. And so that was pretty crazy. <laughs> That sounds very intense. So these were like your relatives. Um, so you said you're working on an EP. Uh, any? Uh, tell us about this this EP or any upcoming music. Um. Yeah. So this EP is basically going to be a like a mix of. Um, it's got. I called it bubblegum grunge. It's got like a rock and roll like heavy vibe, but it's going to be like also have like singer songwriter like folk kind of origins um and um and it's basically just stuff that I've been working on for the last 10 years like stuff that I have um you know all of my songwriting knowledge and all of my emotions from like my last two breakups will be in it and um yeah so like a whole lifetime packed on that. It sounds like it'll be good. Um, what are your thoughts on life and death? That's our final question here on Not TV. Um, life and death. I I don't know. I um, I know there's like order in the universe. Um, the thought of death of People I love, I, I don't like that at all. Um, and life, I think, can be really painful. And it can also be really, really magical and beautiful. And lots of very highs and very lows. So It's a roller coaster type of ride for sure. Well, that's all the time we got on our memory of our camera now. Thanks for tuning inside out to Not TV here on Pixelated Something Contraption. Tom Cat signing off and into your dreams. Bow.